Hello, my name's Jake from Firestorm Games. I'm here today with the Tabletop Spotlight. Today we're looking at The Crew, Mission Deep Sea. So this is the sequel to the original Crew. It bears a lot of resemblances. If you haven't checked out our video for that, I really would recommend it. Links in the description below. It's fantastic. I love the original Crew. So when they announced they were doing a sequel, I was unsure is it just more the same. I'm happy if it is, new missions. But no, they've really rebuilt this from the ground up. So let's have a quick look at it. This is a two to five player game, fully cooperative, takes about 20 minutes to play, but you can play all night as I have found out. Uh, just one more game, just one more game, four hours later. But it's fantastic. It's got uh, trick taking, it's got prediction, it's got limited communication, and it's got campaign play, it's got loads of cool stuff. So how does it actually play? Well, there's cards in the deck between one and nine of four different colors. And then there's also trump cards from one to four that are this black shade. You deal them out, deal the whole deck out randomly, and then you check your mission to see what the target is. So you have a deck of cards here with difficulties on the back based on the number of players, and you deal them out until you've got the correct difficulty. So if we're playing nine difficulty, and I flip a three, and then a two, and then a four, then I need only four, five, six, seven, eight, just one more, yeah. Um, and I flip them, and those are the tasks. There's a huge amount of variety in this deck. The deck's huge, the original version just had numbers you had to specifically win and maybe like do it in certain orders this blows that out of the water the replayability for this game is huge because of this deck and this deck keeps it really really fun and interesting we are 30 missions in we've almost finished the campaign and we've already said well kind of want to just go back and play it all over again because it'll be all different because the order of cards will come out so much differently you play you work out who's taking which objectives which tasks Sometimes it has to go around in clockwork order, sometimes you can skip them, sometimes you can discuss freely and lump them all on one person and then laugh at them. But there's so many options there for how to do it. You play cards. If you've played trick-taking games before, like Hearts or The Crew or things like that, you'll, you'll be familiar with trick-taking. Somebody leads, you have to follow colour if you can. Highest coloured number wins. The followed suit, trumps trump that. If you've got to win all the sixes, then you can tot them up as you go, but you're there trying to complete this mission while somebody else is maybe trying to win no yellow at all, and somebody else is trying to win zero tricks or more tricks than the person to their right. Things like that. So as these combine together, they produce a hugely different play experience every single game. I cannot rate this game highly enough. Absolutely love it. Played at three, four, and five players. It shines at four for me and plays brilliantly at three and five. Me and my playgroup have enjoyed this game ridiculously, and honestly, this is up there as one of my most efficient value-for-money games. I've, I've not spent a huge amount on this, it's not terribly expensive, and we've played it to death already, and it's not been out long. The first crew we did as well, played all the way through the campaign, and then we've been through it twice more with different friends to, to mix it up, and this one I can see it continuing just like that. This game is insanely good value. It's in stock now at firestormgames.co.uk. Links are in the description below.